and gentlemen, hello and welcome along to another review from us, this time focusing on the latest tyre technology. Now, for this review, we're going to do something a little bit different. So rather than doing the normal one big review, we're going to split this review into lots of little reviews and lots of little episodes. That way, it gives us a chance to try these tyres out in lots of different applications, such as uh, tillage work, uh, grassland work and a little bit of haulage work. That way we can get a really good flavour of these tyres, what they like to uh, live with and also what impact this new tyre technology has on things like work rates, fuel use, uh, soil compaction and ride comfort. So there's lots of aspects to, uh, to look at. So hopefully by the end of this little mini series of these tyre tests and tyre reviews, we should hopefully get a really good picture of what the latest tyre technology is all about. Now, to do all that, we have teamed up with Continental, who have kindly supplied us with a set of its latest Tractor Master VF tyres, but it's not just about what you can see here either. Inside each one of these tyres on this tractor is also uh, some very clever sensing technology which relays information from the tyres up to a continental fitted screen in the cab and that is hopefully going to tell me some quite interesting information. Uh, not just the tyre pressures but also tyre temperature as well so we'll be able to monitor the tyres as we do our reviews, as we carry out our various jobs and see what the tyres are actually doing. In addition, massive thank you to Clark & Pullman, our local machinery dealer, for supplying this Fent 828 Vario tractor, which is also fitted with the manufacturer's uh, Vario Grip Central Tire Inflation System, which is going to be, well, it's going to be really key uh, to these tyre trials and these tyre tests as we carry out our various different jobs and applications, because that's what that's going to do. It's going to allow me to basically play around with the tyre pressures and the tyre setup and see what impact different tyre pressures have on the levels of grip, uh, soil compaction, the footprint and also the ride comfort as well and crucially fuel economy as well. Also massive thank you to Clark and Pullman's sister company Garstang Tyre Services for spending quite a few hours and fitting these tyres to this Fent 828 tractor. So massive thank you to those guys. So there you go, ladies and gents. That is what we've got to try out in this tire testing series. I think it's now time to have a chat with the manufacturer themselves, Continental, and find out more about these tires and what we're dealing with. Gents, as promised, I am now joined by Mr. Ian Jackson from Continental, who is going to explain exactly what we have fitted to this Fent 828 tractor. So, Ian, nice easy one to kick off with. Just explain to us what tyres we have fitted to this tractor and the sizes as well. Okay, so we've got a 670 R30 Tractor Master on the front, the VF version. Right. And on the back, we have the 710 70 42. Again, the VF Tractor Master. And whereabouts do these sort of sit in the family of tyres? Because you've kind of got sort of different varieties of each one because you've got your VFs and your IFs and standards and things like that, and your hybrids as well. I mean, this, this really is the flagship of the, of the, um, the unit. This is designed for, uh, to give the maximum amount of effort with the minimum amount of damage to the land. It's all about the flexing of the sidewall. It's all about the dissipation of tread to do... As, as little damage to the earth as possible. So the IF is just a flexing, you know, it's a very sort of flexible flex on format, which means it can um, move 20% more load for the same pressure as a standard tire. And the VF is a very high flexing tire and it can move 40% more load for the same amount of pressure. So just explain these tires and some of the technology that is in these tires. Okay, so we've got a painted um, N-Flex system, which may, basically means it's like a heat-treated nylon that's beneath the rubber itself. Um, it's far more flexible than the standard rayons and polyesters that are typically used. The whole idea of it is that it can, as we said, it can 
move a lot more load with a lot less pressure than a conventional tyre. Um, what it does, it helps to retain the shape of the tyre because uh, having a round tyre really helps again with... It's the always good to having a round tyre. <laughs> it is, I know we joke, but it actually does retain its, its, its shape. Yeah. Um, it also means it will retain its shape if it's used in robust conditions as well. So if you conventionally leave a conventional tyre with a lot of weight on it overnight, there is a chance you can get a flat spot on the bottom, obviously where, the, where all the weight has been focused. So this will suffer that a lot less. They're also easier to fit, which obviously is a big, big, big point with something the size of this. Um, it also reduces the, the likelihood of cracking as time moves on, because of course it's, it's more of a stable. Mm. Um, and yeah, the whole idea is that it's, it's just far more flexible. So it does what we're asking it to do, which is transfer the, the effort into you know, a, um, a, a good job effectively. And then with these VF tires, because with this tractor that we've got here, uh, we've got fence, uh, central tire inflation system, known as Vario Grip, which will allow me to adjust these tire pressures up mm -hmm. and down so what's kind of what's good about that combination between me being able to do that and these vf tires well again it means that you can program so if you're if you're moving a lot of weight or a lot of effort required on plowing or carrying on the field then obviously you can set the pressure according to again the technology that we're giving but then if you are approaching a road and you need to get more stability because you're going to build up more speed then of course you can change the inflation pressure very easily and you can, again, you can actually save effort on the vehicle, which saves fuel, obviously leaves less of a footprint, but reality also means it's more stable and more safe on the road. And conversely, when you get back on the farm, you can reduce them and you can do exactly the same properties. Speaking of, you know, tyre setup and particularly with pressures, I mean, it's quite a complex subject because there's a lot of give and take, isn't there? There's a lot of sort of... Uh, compromises to be made, especially with transport applications. People don't realise the, the effect of the wrong inflation, um, how that affects on the fuel used, um, the, the whole overall picture of what you're doing, the amount of waste that can be avoided by having the correct inflation pressure within the tyre. The tyre itself it obviously is a chamber for grip and without the actual air within it, the air is giving the tyre the strength required to do the job. So it becomes more robust if the pressure is correct, it wears more appropriately and it delivers the best job. So let's get stuck into a little bit of nitty gritty then because it isn't just the tyres that you guys have supplied us. Inside each one of these is some clever sensing technology. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about that please. 